Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks 2014 has introduced an easy way to handle bounced checks that you receive from customers and take as payment. This feature will mark the previously paid invoice or sales receipt as unpaid, remove the funds that were received from your bank account, allow you to enter any bank service fees assessed by your bank, and also create a new invoice for those fees that you can pass on to the customer who bounced the check. This is a terrific feature that allows you to easily deal with a situation that often caused many headaches in the past when it occurred. To record a bounced check, simply open the Receive Payments window by selecting Customers from the menu bar and then choosing the Receive Payments command. Then find or navigate to the specific payment that you received from the customer that contains the check that bounced and display that received payment within this window. With the payment displayed on screen, click the Record Bounced Check button within the main tab in the ribbon at the top of the window. In the Manage Bounced Check window, enter the amount of the bank fee associated with this bounced check into the Bank Fee field. Then select the date that the bank fee was assessed by your financial institution from the adjacent Date Fields calendar dropdown, or simply type the date value directly into the field. Then use the Expense Account drop-down to select the expense account that you use to track bank service charges or bank service fees. If you have class tracking enabled within your company file, you can select a class for the transaction from the class drop-down to classify this bank fee. Next, enter the amount to charge the customer for the bounced check into the Customer Fee field. Usually this amount is for more than the bank fee incurred for the bounced check. After entering the amount to bill to the customer, click the Next button to continue. On the next screen, titled Bounced Check Summary, you will see a listing of the various actions that QuickBooks will take when you click the Finish button that's shown in the middle at the bottom of the screen. Note the various transactions that will occur, and then click the Finish button to proceed. QuickBooks will then create the various transactions that it listed within this screen to account for the bounced check. You can then re-invoice the customer with the original invoice, as well as the new bounced check invoice that QuickBooks creates. The Receive Payments window for that original payment transaction will also be marked as Bounced Check. Just click the Save and Close button to save the transaction and close the Receive Payments window when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.